set. I've been dry, like really dry. My eyebrows have been peeling like crazy. They're growing, I'm getting thicker, but they are peeling. Like I'd be scratching flakes out of them. That was really weird. Um, I just got done scratching the flakes. I should have recorded it, but yeah, like all in here, it's absolutely dry. All in here, feeling dryness. I'm getting ready to go exfoliate it with my face mask product. And um, yeah, drink me some more water. But this is day three, day three, day three, day three. Oh, oh. Yeah, debating if I want to cut my hair or if I'm going to let it grow because I've been not like cutting it and letting it do its thing and I'm like well maybe I should dye it maybe I should dye it and then see from there then if I don't like it I can always turn it back black I just want a certain color that's why guys open a certain color I don't know it's been growing in I need a good old brushing <sighs> we shall see <laughs> decisions, decisions. <laughs> Shower and um, yeah, these eyebrows are really getting thicker during this. I'm not trying to touch them at all. But listen, y'all, I keep a um, thing in my my tub. I told y'all this before. If y'all been rocking, y'all know. I keep a thing in my tub for my feet, and I do them at least every other day um, to keep my feet soft or whatever. And so I'm in there standing up doing them, and usually. I have to keep pausing, dropping my foot, like, cause I'm standing in the shower with one foot up holding it. And that can be a lot on my knees and ankles. So I was just doing it and I realized I did the whole foot. I didn't have to stop or nothing. My butt got an itch. Guess what I did y'all? I grabbed the thing and out of instinct, I just grabbed it and just itched it and rubbed the foot thing. And it was the hard part. Cause I got one with two sides. I love this thing. I got this from eBay for 99 cents. Cause they like $3 at Sally's this okay <sighs> don't y'all judge me i i itch my butt with it like not like in the butt but like on my butt cheek i just had an itch so i just run, ran it past it real quick i'm like what the heck not thinking of it so i keep washing put the soap on start washing my body and my butt start burning duh i feel it it feels stingy like i pulled the first layer of skin off anywho hold on let me pause because it's towel hold on so i want to talk about how i have a robe for the tub and that's because usually my towels don't go all the way around me and y'all usually see me in my um blue robe it still ain't completely around me i'm gonna show y'all without my little boo boo coming out but it's wrapping enough where it's on me yes guys like usually it'd be a struggle i just hold the towel and then grab my robe because i like to cover up when i get out of the shower but it's going around your girl nsvs nsvs and i end up cutting the hair and i dyed it jet black again and i got something in it similar to what i had before but i just love it it's cute i feel like this is the best thing with me working out and sweating a lot when i go to the gym so yeah maybe i'll show that to you guys tonight um i'm gonna be getting ready to head out to do uber i try to do uber like every other weekend depending on how i feel once or twice a weekend for a couple hours so got sacrifice get out there i'm not above anything like i said and gotta get those coins to do things i'm trying to do i need extra money and i don't really like working for nobody i want to work for myself so yeah so over it is and i meet so many people who marry with children got businesses that they're trying to start just different things they're like yeah i love over because i can get out here and work like eight nine hours and make like 200 or something you know what i'm saying and it's just a beautiful thing so yeah so i'm gonna head out in a little bit um to do that and try to knock that out and then i don't do nothing else i got a couple clients this week and that's it so yeah this is my day three y'all i'm not even thinking about food and my water jug is halfway gonna be needing to fill that up haven't touched that nasty gum it's still sitting on my arm thing i got shampoo or something all in my nose yeah so yeah this is the day this is what it's going what is going on and everything y'all see how i keep dropping oh my gosh the weight is dropping i'm so excited i'm so happy i'm proud of myself and all i think about to keep me pushing is what i'm gonna feel like when i reach my goal when i can go in the store and grab a pair of jeans and throw on a white tee and my birkenstocks or my white tee some some jeans and my pumps or something that's what i keep thinking about the feeling of not feeling uncomfortable wearing my heels because my feet start to hurt too fast my ankles and my knees 
all of those things is what I'm feeling and why I'm pushing myself to keep doing it, which means so much than right now gratification of just eating something that I crave. If I did crave, I don't crave nothing. I'm not craving anything. My hubby made bacon last night and I was just like, oh, it smells so good. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to not like the smell or love the smell of it. And it smells so awesome. I was talking to somebody. I said, you know what? The reason I'm doing what I'm doing is because I think, no, I'm going to talk about that in, in another video. I'm going to talk about that in another video. So this is day three, guys. I said I was going to do it for three days, right? I said I was going to do it for three days. So, yeah, let's keep pushing. Let's keep pushing and get through day three. All right. Um, I'll continue sharing my day. And if I, when I'm doing over, if something comes to my mind, I'll come back on and talk to you guys again, being that I'm not working out. So I'm going to be sharing other things during this fast of what's going through my mental. It was something. I have a notebook, a clipboard with stuff that I write down. My old, oh, the leg pain. That old leg pain had came back last night. I think I talked about it on the live and in the video. And then this morning it was totally gone. It was totally gone. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. We're going to think positive. Hopefully, it doesn't come back. So, yeah. All right, let me get off of this. I got to get dressed. And I literally am sitting here looking at my video that needs to be uploaded, that I should have uploaded early because I was up at 8 this morning. Yeah. Um, I got to get dressed so I can go. See, this this what I get for squeezing stuff. I hope it clears yeah, up real fast. But my face is trying to clear up. Thank God. Y'all see it? Boom, boom, boom. Y'all see it? Boom. I got one part of it. Up. Yeah. To the point where it's irritating. Hey, watch out! I have my calorie count on. It's been on for a couple seconds. Um, seven. So you guys will see what it, it is when I come back. I don't do much, but I do try to keep my eyebrows done. Um, yeah, my hat has shrunk to the point where I can keep my do rag on. I normally don't keep my do rag on because it's too tight and it won't fit. It literally fits, okay? Um, my glasses look smudgy, so I'm gonna clean them. I'm already look already dressed and ready. This is what I'm gonna be wearing. So I got a package I will share it with you guys when I come back I'm so excited we're gonna do something when I get back I decided to give it another try and um, I scrubbed the heck out of my tongue today which helped with my um, organic baking soda and so I had to get some more water because I ran out of uh, my jugs of water um, and so I gave it another try with this sugar-free they're little teeny candies, and it comes with lemon, lime, tangerine, watermelon, and mint. I gave my husband a mint. He was like, but I ate a watermelon, and it tastes like heaven on earth. Tastes way better than the freaking um, gum. And uh, they only give you two watermelons, which suck. So, yeah. Um, the only thing about it, though, what I say, babe? They only give you two watermelons. Yeah, I only got two watermelons in my bag. I'm kind of upset about that. Only thing about it is it says it has calories, but it's only 50, but that's four pieces, and I'm not eating no four pieces. So, yeah, I just wanted to put something in my mouth for that taste that I was going through. But it has Splenda in it. I, I don't normally eat stuff like this, but to get me through with that taste, because sometimes it makes me nauseous, um, I will pop one of these if need be. So I got these from the dollar store, so if you decide to try water fasting and you need something to kind of pull you through it ain't gonna mess up your fast because i ate the gum yesterday it didn't mess up my fast y'all see i still lost weight so you have to find out what's best for you because that's all that matters what's best for you me and my husband was just talking about that um you got to figure it out until you get comfortable or you see the results you want to see and just go with it or or make it better or whatever it is you need to do improve it but do what's best for you that's why you always going to hear me say that because a lot of times people say oh you need to do this you need to do that you need to do this well i take those into consideration and if I need like somebody told me about the gum I take it in consideration if I'm like you know what I think I do need something for this taste because this taste is unbearable sometimes so I decided to try the gum couldn't do the gum wouldn't work for me so these did I actually had a lime and I had a watermelon the watermelon was the bomb but I don't know um how the others gonna taste the mint 
the lemon and the tangerine don't know but i just wanted to share that with you because i'm sharing all parts of this journey and being that on certain days i will not be working out i want to share the things that you know behind the scenes a lot of times people don't share these things because this is what it is i tried this and it was pretty good all right guys okay hold on and i'm gonna open them with you guys and then i'm gonna use them for the first time because I'm fasting, so I really want to see how I can tell if my body is in ketosis. So, they look different from what they showed on the thing, but oh well, let's see. So, I guess you're supposed to, okay. I guess it'll tell you. Shoot, I should be the darkest one, right, y'all? I already used the bathroom, so I'm going to dip it. I don't think I need to be showing my pee and everything on here. So, I'm going to dip it. Hold on one second. I think you just dip it. Just dip it and let it sit, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. It don't say nothing. All right, y'all. Let me let it sit. Hold on. It's getting dark already. All right, so it's done. And I think it's more of this one. I think I thought it would be this one, but it's more of this one. So that's yeah. My body is in ketosis, and this tells you how much, um, how far you are in ketosis. I guess so. It'd be nice to have it on that one. I guess I don't know. I have to do more research on how these work, but I know this is a good thing when you have one of the two last numbers. All right, y'all, let me get in the bed. I'm tired. We'll take a shower and go to bed. This is my, this is the burn I wanted to show you guys before I took it off. So that's the burn for me working. Um, yeah, so let me get in the shower, y'all. I'm tired, tired, tired. Oh, let me show y'all something else. Hold on one second. My face is breaking out. All down here. And I keep getting dry lip, like peely dry lip as well. Don't know where that comes from, but keep getting that. Today I had some awkward happen. My stomach, my hunger pains was a little bit stronger. But every time I drank water, like guzzled down, not guzzled, but drunk some nice big sips, it went away. Like it literally instantly went away. So um, I do know that that have a lot to do with hydration. So people sometimes think oh I'm hungry but it's really hydration that you need so when I did that I was good about to wipe these eyebrows off and get my life together like in the bed all right I'm all sweating well feel like I'm sweating I'm not sweating but I'm shiny it is that moisturizer I put in my face all right y'all another two pounds down anything over 5.5 I consider that the next pound up so we are going to go with boom and boom and there we have it all right guys we are 33 pounds down and I have some news for you hopefully it will be in the next clip this is actually day three which was supposed to be my last day of the water fast so stay tuned for the news guys it is let me see your phone so they can see the date and time it shows both mm -hmm. okay it is day one which is may 16th 332 me and Naya just had a conversation and I'm, I'm showing you the date because I want y'all to know that this took place before the end of the fast even occurred or before I seen what this water fast was going to be like. So Naya said to me that she challenged me to finish seven days. She challenged me to finish seven days 
I don't know if I want to post this because I'm low-key scared because it is a big challenge and I don't want to disappoint but I also think I can do it so I got like a, a mix of emotions going on right now um should I just share this video with them yeah. and then just oh, no. or what you think I don't know wait. she over here in my bed y'all I should wait yeah. so she challenged me to do seven she was like mommy if you could do three you could do seven because I was telling her about the water fast more about it and everything so that would be a total of 10 days of fasting three fruit and water and seven just water there are people that's doing it the fasting fat man did y'all see him oh my gosh so inspirational um I think he lost over 200 pounds already and he has been doing it for like 160 something days now I think or somewhere around in that range I don't think nobody is no better than anyone so I feel like if there's millions of people who've done it or hundreds of thousands of people who've done it I know I can do it it is mind over matter but I'm also thinking like why not it'll help heal me in certain ways and different elements I've been going through also it's helping me get clarity to prepare myself to get off of the procrastination seat that I've been on about certain things but that's only because I wasn't comfortable with me in so many areas of myself um and, and I always put like basically a face up of happiness happiness and it has nothing to do with my family it has nothing to do with my kids it has something to do with my personal self because at the end of the day no one can give you true joy no one can give you true happiness you have to be happy with self and learn to love self and then that's when you can experience true love and joy from your family and your friends with that being said that is why I decided to stop making excuses to get on this journey and do what I need to do so it's like in my brain I'm like okay this is day one I got two two days left and so when my baby challenged me I'm just like okay so that means I have six days left but I believe I can do it I believe I can do it I believe I can do it and I'm, I'm debating if I want to just throw this video out there or just put this video in the end of my day three to show you guys that this has already been planned and I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna continue on this is not the end yeah I think it's gonna be like a but wait got something I want to share with y'all and then go on from there that's what that's what I should do at the end of day three they think it's over and I'm like but wait it's not over you know and keep going I think that's what I'm gonna do so yeah guys um my baby took she pinky promised she took my hands like mommy pinky promised me you'll never get this size again and don't let yourself get this size I said and that's exactly why because I told her I want to be 200 pounds she said 200 pounds and she was like well if that's what you want to be but she remember when I told her that I was 230 like 228 230 when I lost all that weight before and I look fine my sister and everybody was like you don't need to lose no more weight so I'm like I'm keeping 200 pounds in my brain but at the end of the day, if I went for that size that I knew that I felt comfortable and I, my confidence and everything was where it should be because I loved the feeling I had physically, um, it was only from from this point standpoint now to that, I would only need to lose 36 pounds. 36 pounds is all I would need to lose. Um, but to give me wiggle room in life, I want to get way below that. So I'm thinking, okay, what about a midpoint? Instead of 200, I can say 210 or 215. That will leave me at this point how much I would need to lose if I'm in the 260s. And I want to just be at 210. About 50? About 50 pounds I got to lose. So we shall see. We shall see how this works out. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Y'all, I'm going to push it four more days well no if yeah if it's three days at that point i'm gonna push it four more days and i'm gonna share that journey with you guys all right so let's do it